Bob Barker saying good night. Hey, everybody! Today, actual retail price. He is best known, of course, for hosting The Price is Right for 35 years. Come on down, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right. But there's another role Bob Barker cherishes just as much. Jesse is a shelter dog, of course. Of course. Bob Barker is such a great name for an animal rights spokesman. <laughs> It is more than his devotion to Jesse. The abandoned part chow his brother persuaded him to adopt after his old dog had died. And I said, all right, <laughs> bring her over. And I've so, never regretted it. Bob Barker, now 85, has donated millions for animal protection, including sponsoring <laughs> programs to spay and neuter animals. One of the most tragic problems, so far as animals are concerned, in our country in the world, as a matter of fact, is overpopulation. How did you get so interested in helping to protect animals? Well, I've always loved animals. And uh, I always had animals. He grew up on an Indian reservation in South Dakota, where his mom taught school after Barker's dad died. He married Dorothy Jo Gideon, his high school sweetheart, and after a stint as a Navy pilot, Barker decided to try broadcasting, eventually hosting a show before a live audience. And my wife was at home, and she heard that first audience participation show. And when I came home, she said, Barker, that's what you should do. She said, you did that better than you've ever done anything else. In the 1950s, the Barkers moved to L.A., where he hosted another radio program. One day, TV game show impresario Ralph Edwards was listening. And he liked the way I worked. And he called me, and I went in for an interview with him. That landed him a job hosting Truth or Consequences. Remember this name, you're going to be hearing a lot about him. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Barker. Here's Bob! And in 1972, it was on to the prices right. Bob Barker! I would start every show looking for someone with whom I could create laughter and have fun. One of his favorite moments occurred when a young woman wearing a tube top heard her name called to come on down. And she jumped to her feet, began jumping up and down, and both of them came out of the tube top. <laughs> She came on down, and they came on out. <laughs> and I didn't even see it. I was still behind the doors. And when I came out, the audience was screaming. And I thought, they love me. They love me. <laughs> and then I, I came to terms with the fact that no audience had ever loved me this much. <laughs> the lovely Nikki is holding Orson. As Barker's fame grew, so did his commitment to animals, a passion he shared with his late wife, who died in 1981. And Orson is looking for a home. And Barker started ending each show with a plea. Bob Barker reminding you, help control the pet population. Have your pets stay in there. Bye, everybody. It's a practice continued by Barker's successor, Drew Carey. Uh, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to get the pets stay in there. It's the right thing to do. See you next time. Bye-bye. But Bob Barker ran headfirst into controversy and angered the fur industry when he quit hosting the Miss Universe pageant in 1987 because the sponsors refused to stop giving away fur coats as prizes. Did you think, oh my gosh, I might be throwing my career to the wind here? No, my accountant had feelings about <laughs> it, but I didn't. <laughs> in fact, his career flourished. He's got 19 Emmys to prove it. Did you still get a kick out of it? I mean, by the time you won number oh, 19? Oh, of course. 19 was just as pleasant as number one. 
but he seems just as proud of the awards he's won for protecting animals. I received this uh, as a, uh, a tribute for my work in exposing cruelty to animals, cru cruelty to chimpanzees. Spare those bunnies. After all, this is a man who has devoted an entire room of his house to his two rabbits. They're very lucky bunnies, huh? They are lucky bunnies is right. So it's no wonder that since Bob Barker decided to retire from the Price is Right last year, Thank you. he has never looked back. I'm, I'm busy anyway with animal projects and various other things, and so I'm not sitting around uh, worrying about uh, what am I going to think about in the next hour, you know. I'm having fun doing a lot of things, and um, I'm a success at retirement. <laughs>
Number two, Daisy, give us a question you do not like to be asked. Your age. Yes. Your age. <laughs> Number one, we're going to steal gentlemen. Hollywood, give us a question you do not like to be asked. What do you say? Is this color real? <laughs> okay. Is your hair color real? Show me, is this color real? <laughs> Let's... Oh, come on, they always ask. <laughs> is it? Yes. Yes, of darling. It, of course it is. Me? Yes, Jackie. Is okay. this your own nose? <laughs> and it is. You betcha. Question you don't like to be asked in Hollywood? Is this your own nose? <laughs> Think of an average hundred American people, not Hollywood, not people that would have a new head or anything like that. What do you say, babe? From, from what part of Nebraska? Hog Hollow, Nebraska. Hog Hollow, Nebraska. You might Hog know that. Hog Hollow, Nebraska. Hog Hollow. I know it. I know it well. Where the hogs come from. Of course it is. But if you could give us a question you do not like to be asked. Um, Three well, seconds. Well, I guess occupation. I mean, I don't Some mind people, people like asking to... me that, but maybe well, most people wouldn't like. Most people would not like to tell their yeah. occupation. <laughs> Where you work. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're going to get a chance to steal if Godiva can't tell me a question you do not like to be asked. How much money you make? Good. Good Is it up there? How much money do you make? That is a good one. Two strikes, one answer. That's what you were going to say, wasn't it, Lex? All right, what do you say there, Daisy? Are your diamonds real? Of course they are. I have none. <laughs> Show me, for the bank and a clean sweep, are your diamonds real? <laughs> not there. The bank will be yours if the men can't tell me. A question you do not like to be asked. Do not like to be asked. Animal. Oh, right. Sorry, ask it. Scott. Uh, between me and my brother, ask me if I'm, I'm really the younger brother. If you're the younger. Sting? Blank. No question, okay. Question you do not like to be asked, Rick. Married or single? Are you married or single? I am that's married. One, that's okay. one I was just thinking of. Let's go with that. Are you married or single? Think, guys? Exactly yeah. what? Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, of a sudden, married, 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 married. You have stolen the... Better be loud! <laughs> you Gene was constrained because he's trying to get over here to me. Thanks, Gene. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea what it feels like to be handled against your will. There's nothing I can do to stop this. <laughs> Women, I want you to... Thank you. You've got $85 if we see what is your marital status. <laughs> oh! Good try. I'm sorry. I'm not the judge. The women keep the bank. There's one answer that would have got you that bank. What is number five? <laughs> How are you? I'm very fine, and we're going to come right back, and you'll be better if you get after these messages. Don't get him mad. We are fooding the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. $85. The WCW men have zero, but we go Hollywood. We're the Rick. I thought we had a decent time. All right, it's time hey. to do what, Lex? Bash? Your... Here we go. He's in trouble. We will Maybe. see. Yeah. The top five answers are on the board. Name an occupation whose people deal with emergencies. Medical. Hollywood. She says the medical occupation. What kind, Hollywood, specifically? Name an occupation. Specifically, what kind? Of medical? Yes. Take a guess. Uh, uh, car accidents. She... Is that what you specifically, mean? Specifically, what kind of medical occupation? Oh, nurses. She know. says nurses. All right. Show me nurses. There it is. Now stay here. Rick, there are three answers more popular. Occupation, whose people deal with emergencies. I would say emergency, uh, ambulance. He says an ambulance. Show me an ambulance driver. Okay. Number one. You see that? Think of a steal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was that, Rick? Okay. Stinger? An occupation whose people deal with emergencies. Fireman. Could it be a fireman? No, it's number two. Good job, Steve. Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. Scott, you are half of the world of the, of the, of the tag team world championship right. team right now. Me and my brother, yeah. You guys together? Right. All right. What do you say? My brother and I. He also knows grammar. Did you see that, Judge? <laughs> Stinger is the judge of the team. The, my brother and I. Spokesman. Huh? All right. What do you say, there, Scott? Oh, a policeman. How about a policeman? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very yeah. fine answer. Animal! 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 Animal, if you can give me number three, you have got a clean sweep and you're really in the game. What do you say? What's the question? 
dollars. Not a better, not a better man to be in the in the pivotal spot, an occupation whose people deal with emergencies. Emergency room people. The judge surprisingly said that is not specific enough. <laughs> I personally not like specific it. enough. No. In other words, he thinks it's a little vague. Vague means broad, <laughs> nondescript. Doctor. He says a doctor. Do you understand that? Animal, if number three is doctor, I, which I think is a fine answer, you've got a clean sweep. Show me a doctor. Somebody's gonna play it for five thousand dollars. Hurry back! You're not gonna take that, are you? We are back. It's Nip and Tug, the WCW men, ninety-nine dollars. The glow women, eighty-five. This time it's personal. Rick, it's time for another okay, face-off. Okay, Here we go, the Stinger against Jackie. Here we go, Jackie. We are going to double the dollar value. And this time, it's off the close. Who's going to win this game and play for the 5,000? We will find out. Put your hand on that little buzzer. Get ready. The top six answers are on the board. We ask 100 people. Listen carefully to this, que this question. Name a popular machine that you often have to wait for in your health club. State. Life cycles. He says he waits for the life cycles. Stationary advice. Think of a steal, there's going to be a lot of chances. Back with your team, Jackie. Think, name a popular machine you often have to wait for in your health club, Scott. I'll have to say Stairmaster. Could it be the Stairmaster? Stair climber. Believe me, these all fit together. Animal, I would, I'm sure you wouldn't have to wait for any machine. No. Like the 600-pound canary. <laughs> Wherever you'd like to tweet. <laughs> I tweet where I like. <laughs> what do you say? Nautilus machine. He says, which specifically? Uh, Nautilus bench press machine. Good enough for you, Judge? The Nautilus bench machine. There you go. The big bank girls think of a steal. Getting lucky. Lex says? Uh, treadmills. He says it's no luck. It is a treadmill. Bam, number two. These boys have been to the gym. Rick, you're a handsome man. Name a popular machine that you often have to wait for in your health club. Yeah, sit-up sit board. We'll see. A sit-up machine. Not there. Sting, two answers there. What do you say? Back machine. Could it be the back machine? <laughs> Look, for those women, you're going to get a chance to steal. $156, Scott, if you can't Come tell on, me. Come on, we gotta beat the bimbo. He may... He said we need to beat... He says we need to do the limbo. That's what he said. We're going to do the limbo. The limbo is what he said. Don't get a man. I mean, the limbo. Sting, Sting, you may be fake, but they're women. Don't mess with them. What do you say, Scott? Question? Hmm? Question? I forgot, he scared me. Name a popular machine that you often have to wait for in your health club. I would have to say either a sauna or a wet room. I mean, he says steam the sauna. Room, steam room. The machine. Okay, we'll see if it's there. The sauna. Three strikes, now do your money. Unless you can tell me, girls. A popular machine that you often have to wait for in your health club. How about the rowing machine? That's she the says the rowing, rowing machine. Rowing, rowing machine. machine. Jackie? Leg press. Leg press. Rower. Rower. The rower. What the are you rower. gonna say? The what rower. are you gonna say right now, Dave? Row rowing machine. A rowing she goes machine. with her teammates, and if it's there, you have stolen the gentleman's money and you have redeemed rower. yourself from the term they called you. Rower. Is it the row machine? Power? No. Take that. is a rowing machine. No, Where's the judge? Hold it! Wait a minute, there's going to be a fight. I'm going to have to hold your money back. Might as well be her. Hey! It's over. Go back to your corner. Don't ever touch The back machine does that. Excuse me! If I could, excuse me! If I could just get control here, this is the kind of thing that we have a judge for. He gets paid for this. Judge, do you understand his complaint? There you go, Sting. All right. Sting, there is one. Sting, 
staying. There, there is one other answer that would have kept you guys alive. Ask the judge how much he works out versus how much I work out or these guys work out. <laughs> it is a back machine. You're wrong, pal. Sting, Sting, imagine He's wrong. The Sting, I want you. Wait a minute. Let me just say this. See the judge from here, it just doesn't show. He said, look, I would say two things. The judge said that he was working out before you were born. The judge's idea of a great exercise machine is the mandibalizer. It's the one that uses for your mouth. Because that's all he does is talk. Now, there's one answer that would have got you the bank irrevocably, and that was number six. Soda machine, which nobody said. The Glows have $241. Gentlemen, this is your chance for 99. It's time for another face up. Babe, we can argue all we want. It comes down to right here. Good luck. Thank you for whistling at me, sir. Here we go. The dollar value is tripled. The top four answers are on the board. I'm sorry for that little fight that you had to witness before us here. Thank goodness I was here to settle it. Here's the question. Name a food people put in their shopping cart and start eating even before they check out of the supermarket. Babe? Potato chips. Yeah. Could it be potato yeah. chips? Number two, number three, two answers are more popular, Scott. I'd have to say fruit. A food that people put in their shopping cart starting before they check out of the supermarket? Show me fruit. <laughs> number one answer, fruit. Think of a steal, babe. Gentlemen, this is going to be a big bang for dollar value's triple sting. Don't give the judge any chance. Give the right answers, animal. Yeah. What do you say, pal? A food that people eat before they check out of a supermarket? Candy. Show me candy. Lex, you give me number two. You're going to win the game and play for $5,000. What is it? Um, those uh, nuts. You're getting those nuts. He says nuts. <laughs> Bingo one. Rick, you can win it for your team. A food people put in their shopping cart and start eating before they even get out of the supermarket. I'll say, um... If you clean sweep, you've won the game. Three seconds. Take a guess. <laughs> They're going to get a chance to win the game. Stinger, you can win it for your team. Give me number two. What do you say? Cookies. He says cookies. You're playing for 5,000 if we see cookies. seconds on that clock. Scott, good luck. We ask 100 people these five questions. Name one of the costs of owning a car. Insurance. Something you drink through straws. Pop. How long a long shower lasts? Uh, 15 minutes. A meat you get from a pig. Uh, 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 pork chops. Something that moves easily over snow. Snowmobile. Turn around, that's five. Right here. Scott, name one of the costs of owning a car, you said. Insurance, our survey said, bam, 57, excellent, something you drink through straws, you said, you drink pop, our survey said, 38, how long a long shower last, you said, 15 minutes, survey said, bam, 28, is he gonna do it, all by yourself, a meat you get from a pig, you said, pork chops, Survey said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Scotty. Scott, if there's, I don't know if we have the time, but if we do, if there's any way you get this by yourself, I'll be happy, happy, happy as everyone will. We'll dance, but then we'll bring your brother out and I will make up five of the okay. dumbest questions he's ever seen. <laughs> and see what he does. Here's the question. Something that moves easily over snow, you said? Snowmobile. If 29 people said it, you've got $5,000 all by yourself. Our survey said... 21! Oh, oh it's so close! It's close. We will send you back with a nice round of applause as we bring out your brother. Rick! Rick! Keep clapping! Rick, my friend, look straight ahead. Put 20 seconds on the clock, reveal your partner's answers. I want you to know, Rick, that only once on the show 
In all my years, have I ever seen a person not get the eight points once the partner got the other 190? I'm not, I'm not trying to hex you. I wish you a lot of luck. Five questions, eight answers. That's a point and a half each, something like that. Here we go. Good luck. We ask 100 people, name one of the costs of owning a car. One of the costs of owning a car. One of the costs, uh, 9,000. One? Something you drink through straws. Soda. Drink. Uh, uh, milkshake. How long a long shower lasts? Five minutes. A meat you get from a pig? A pork. Pork chop. Some, try again. Uh, bacon. Something that moves easily over snow? Snowville. Try again. Uh, skis. Hey, turn around, you didn't do, come here, come right here, Rick. Come here, Rick. Rick, Rick, you need eight points? You didn't get the last question. I was just teasing about nobody getting eight points. I hope you did it. One of the costs of owning a car, you said the cost of? $9,000. <laughs> Rick, I think it's a good answer. I really do. And I don't think you've ever been slammed on your head in a ring. The survey said... Not there. Insurance number one. Eight points and $5,000. I asked something you drink through straws. You said... Milkshake. Milkshake. Did enough people say it for the $5,000? Our survey said... Give him Some of our department families will receive make delicious fresh fruit coffee right in your microwave with the Farberware Micro Brew. Only Farberware can make it. You are a dream, the first snow mess, cream, anti first burn. Just squeeze it up and smooth on powerful Arab protection. Tips are all that you have as you remember, only 27 calories. Why not try some today? Tips are all that you you remember. Accent wakes up the natural flavor of food. Accent restores flavor loss during processing and storage that is low in sodium. Con Air Fearless Al set you free. No cords, no plugs, no battery. Totally portable hair styling cartridges. From Television City in Hollywood, this is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud to Mark Goodson. Television Productions.